Okay, so now what I wanted to do is a lab right here. You know, we haven't done any labs, and, and uh, I was thinking, what could we do right here? Well, you remember, we measured G with that spark generator, and we looked at all those little points. I think you had up to, let's say, 14 points right here. And each one of those little dots, since we looked at every other one, was a 30th of a second apart right here. Uh, I'm sure you remembered, we measured the distances between each of these dots, each individually, and then you took everyone in your group's S sub I's and you averaged them out right here. Now, I can't get to these labs. They're in the lab room, and that place is locked up like Fort Knox right here. So I, I had one lab where I can just take the data from that. And so here, I'm going to assume that this is what everyone's S sub I average was in millimeters right there. And it's, yours was probably very similar to this, probably very close. And I think there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 14 of them. Okay. So this is what we want to use right here. Now, the mass of the object we dropped, I knew what it was. The mass was 0.15 kilograms. That was the mass of the object. In G, you probably don't remember, but we'll just use the 9.8 right there. Now that's in meters per second squared. I'd rather do this in meters and kilograms rather than millimeters. So what I want you to do right here is we'll be making up this table right here. The next column, I just want you to write this thing out in meters. So really all you have to do is move this over three decimal places right here. So this one would be what, 0.1588 meters right here and so on. So this column's pretty easy to get right here. Well. We also calculated the speed. Remember, we took this number, we multiplied it by 30, and we got a column of the speeds right here. Now, you're going to have to do that again with these numbers right here. Get a column of the speeds. Remember, what they were is they were the average speed of each of these intervals. So it, was, it wouldn't be the speed at the bottom of the top. It would be the speed right in the middle right there. So we could call that V14. This was V13 and so on, all the way up to V1. So those were the speeds that you had gotten before, right here. Now, since I know the speed, I can square this, this column, multiply it by that mass, and I can have a whole column of kinetic energies, right here. So you noticed right here, it's going to be very small right here, and it's going to get bigger and bigger because we know the speed's getting larger and larger right there. Okay. Now, if I want to get the potential energy, I need to get the height right here. The height of these points, this point, that point, and all these 14 heights. Remember, I can call h equals zero wherever I want. So we're going to call this point zero height right here. So I can put a zero right into that spot right there. That's the height of the 14. Now, if I want to get the height of this point, so we got to work our way up this way rather than down, the height of this point, it's right here. Isn't that just half of S14 plus half of S13? So that's what this height is right there. The next one right here would be, the next height up would be uh, half of 14, all of 13, and half of 12. So it would be half of 14, all of 13, half of 12. Then the next one would be half of 14, all of 13, all of 12, and half of 11, and so on. You're just going to keep working your way up, and you can get the height all the way up. Use the meters, not the millimeters right here. Uh, and then the very last one up here, this, this H1, would be half of 14, all of 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and half of S1. That would be the last one right up there. Okay, so now we have a column of all the heights. We can now make a column of all the potential energies. We know the mass, we know the gravity. We can make a column of all the potential energies right there. And then we can sum up this column plus this column to get the total energy right here. And so what we want to do is we want to now make a plot, energy versus your 
14 numbers right here as they go along here like he did with the acceleration except one of them is going to be the points for kinetic energy which is probably going to grow as you're coming down one for the potential energy which is going to drop when you go down and one which is the sum of those two so you're going to have three different plots all on one graph I would probably have a legend here so I can tell which is which right here we won't put any error bars in or anything. We just want to plot these out. We just want to make a plot of the kinetic, the potential, and the total energy right here. And I'll, I'll set up a, a file location called lab dump right here. And we can upload it to lab dump. This thing won't be due until assignment seven is due right there at the same time set line assignment seven is due. Okay, so hopefully this lab makes some sense and we didn't have to use any equipment because we already used all the equipment for this. And at least we can get a lab out of the way. Okay.